Ah, wicked. Right. So this is Jamie from Doctor Death and Sick to Death and hey, a whole hey. lot of death. All the death. Although actually, <laughs> actually, did you? I have actually left Doctor Death now. You've left? Real. No. I have. I'm no. afraid I have. I still love the guys. I still bros. I still love the music. But so is Dave still in Doctor Death or? Yeah, Dave's still in Doctor Death, man. It's just me. Just me. I've gone. So who's doing bass now? Uh, Mike, the old guitarist, is now playing uh, bass, and then Steve is back onto guitar and vocals. So they're still. All right. No, he's definitely better on guitar and vocals. Yeah, yeah. Because I sure, think man. I think he like without the guitar, he, he I don't know, he, he kind of just is better with guitar and vocals. Yeah, yeah he, he's got I mean. both going on. It's yeah, cool. definitely, so, man. Like, the best luck to the boys, and I'll be I've got their back still, and I'm there. Oh, wicked, brilliant. man! Unfortunately, I just ha it's not anything. It's just me. I couldn't do it. So. Oh, you got too much on well, and stuff I got like. To death. Oh, that <laughs> sucks, man. But yeah, I mean, it's all good though, you know. We'll we'll keep rocking and they'll keep rocking. And so you're gonna be uh, pushing sick to death a little bit more, or? Well, I mean, sick to death. Our drummer has gone back to South Africa, and so we're basically like ending sick to death. But we're starting a new band, same members, new drummer. Who uh, you may know him as the bassist of Fru of Rashley. Lovely boy. Ah. He's going to have a couple of jams. See how it goes. Like we we'll just see. It's all, it, we're going to take it very casual and just like, we just want to play some parties and play some fucking old school. So stuff punk, to look forward so. to then? Yeah, it's going to be sweet, it's going to be cool. It's just going to be a little while in the, in the sidelines. Are all the uh, old Sick to Death uh, music available to people? Or? You can download most of it and check it from the MySpace. We're going to at some point put it all together on a CD so you, everyone can get all the old catalogues. There's loads of old recordings and stuff which hasn't been released ever. So like, we're well, good, because I yeah. want one. Yeah, like, well, you I'm a big fan sure. of Sick to Death. <laughs> and um, is it is the old uh, Dr. Death stuff available still? Yeah, you can still occasionally get the CDs off the guys at gigs and stuff, and t-shirts and all that. It, like, there's, there, I think we ran out of some merch, but we've got some more merch, and there's going to be loads of merch on the way. And Wicked, man. Are you still going to be putting them on your shows and stuff? Oh, of course, man, yeah. Like, I've st like, it would be good. Now I can just sit behind the mixing desk and watch them, as opposed to being, you know, like, having to play bass and pretend like I'm on stage and <laughs> I know what I'm doing. So at least now I can, like, know what I'm I don't know what I'm doing and watch Good them stuff, man. So where do you promote? Like, usually, yeah. what's your favourite venues to promote? Favourite venues for promoting is here, the lovely Unicorn. Like, it's, I just think they've got the right attitude towards gigs. Like, they can, it's always a free show, so, you know, anyone can come down. It doesn't matter if you're skinned or if you're, you know, it's, it's cool. It's good, good vibe. It's a nice sound system. It's a nice venue and stuff. Yeah, it's rocking. Other venues to recommend? Uh, Purple Turtle is still a sweet venue. I work there myself, so obviously I've got a bit of a bias, but like, it's cool. I think it's a great place. It's a really professional setup venue, um, and for the size of it, you know, it's just, you could put, bands that could play the Underworld could play the Purple Turtle and still have a good night. So yeah, I'd still, if any like touring bands from Europe and stuff, that's another good place to go and play. Cool, man. Um, so what are good bands around London to recommend to for people to go oh, and see? Man, that's a tough, that's such a tough one. It's a big uh, list, right? I'd, yeah, it's a massive list. I'll, I'll have to say Doctor Death, obviously, like number one, the lads. <laughs> yeah. Um, other thrash bands, I guess, like, I've always got the back for Mutant, I still think they're one of the best, like, bands in the UK, I reckon. Um, good lads, amazing music. Uh, other interesting London bands, a band called Invasion, who are from, uh, well, from all over London, they're very, very cool, like, sort of thrashy, doomy stuff, but they've got an amazing vocalist who's not your standard metal vocalist, which is pretty rocking. Uh, fuck. Oh, don't put me on the spot, man. I've got to think of some more good bands. <laughs> uh, Hang the Bastard, they're a sweet band, hardcore band, like, but with a demi sort of thing. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty rocking. Uh, fuck, there's loads. London's there's loads, wicked. There's man. so many good bands. What about Dead Existence, man? Oh, that's yeah. definitely like, yeah. that's the band that got me into well. any doom music at all. Yeah, like, no. Dead Existence, fucking amazing. And the other band that's very strongly connected with them is uh, Nebuchadnezzar. They're the boys, they're the fucking classiest band ever. Damn Nas? Yeah, and Damn Nas. Of course, I'm Damn Nas. Probably, yeah. probably one of the grittiest thrash bands in London, I'd say. They're street, man. They're true. <laughs> they Very know it's down, yeah. Good stuff, man. What about, um, well, what about uh, non thrash bands? You got any? More non thrash bands. Oh, shit, man. So, there's, there's so many good bands. There's some sweet prog bands. I'm like well into 70s prog and that sort of thing. So, like, oh, I'm getting heckled here. This is a no, man. <laughs> Who is the heckler? He's hiding, isn't he? Someone known as There he is, look. You spot him? It's like fucking Where's Wally. Oh, uh, yeah, look, look at that. Fucking hell. Check that bro out. That's quite terrifying, isn't it? <laughs> He's quite some guy, eh? Do you know what he reminds me of? 
You know the bloke from a um, fucking, what's it called? Killing Joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except with AIDS and like a bit yeah. more fucking ravaged <laughs> by illness. But yeah, it's pretty close. Like. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for talking That's to us. Hey, best of luck, Metal Perv. And um, like fucking class, yeah. You'll see yourself on YouTube. Alright! <laughs> Wicked Wicked. Rock and roll! <laughs>